hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is camellia to all my returning subscribers hey girl hey queen hey sis welcome if you guys are on tiktok let me tell you oh my god i so wanted to hate tiktok literally i'm like this just scrolling i don't know what they put in that app but it's got me honey okay your girl is addicted okay but in any case um there is a trend if you are aware it is the maybelline sky high mascara which is this little beauty that you see here um you know i love anything maybelline but it's really not about loving the brand it's more so about reviewing i review and try it for you and you get to see before you spend your money whether or not it's you know all the hype it's made out to be i personally want to know too so i'm not trying to even cap right i want to know what the fuss is about too when i buy these products all of these would like sold out eventually i went online and superdrug had three for two um i didn't get three for two because i was like mm. I ain't sold yet okay i only bought the one this one is in very black as you can see it's still got the protective tag on no i didn't steal it i ordered it i wanted to use this opportunity to do like a little bit of a catch up and um yeah i'm putting i'm gonna put on some makeup and then we're gonna try the mascara so if you haven't already subscribe for the ride um and let's get into this video i don't know if you have noticed but i have changed my room around I feel like my room really needed to be moved around. I feel like the energy was not good. And it also felt quite um, crowded as well. So as you can see, I moved this thing here, um, dressing table. Well, it's not really even a dressing table. It's like, um, it's a um, chest of drawers with my mirror. It was over there i've moved it over here now and literally i feel the adjustment in the energy i'm not even gonna lie the minute i changed the room around all of a sudden it was a place that i wanted to be i actually filmed some of the video it's actually going to be the next video that i up actually if you would by the time this one goes up you're already going to see um that i've uploaded a video of me like organizing the room i didn't just like move everything around i actually threw things out and it was so needed. I really be trying to find excuses to keep things that I haven't even used and don't even like, <laughs> like for centuries. I don't know what that is all about. So I had like a really good tidy out. It wasn't even just about like moving the room around to allow the energy to flow. It was about throwing out things that I didn't need to really be in the room. And so it's crazy how something so small can make such a huge difference. So, um, but yeah, it's made it really just nice and airy. And I feel like I can get things done in here. So this is where I've been lately and you can expect to see more um videos in here also i feel like it's a little bit more private i feel like when we're having our little girly chats where else would they be you know what else was i gonna say oh my god i'm so locked down i'm about ready for this thing to be over and done with now if i'm completely honest i do really miss and this is coming from like somebody who normally doesn't like to socialize i actually and missing having the option of socializing even though i would choose not to it's not even so much like not being able to be around people it's just like you can't even the shops are not open and you know so i think it's all the little the little extra things like just being able just having the option there is really what's what um what bothers me but yeah it hasn't been easy and i think it doesn't matter what your situation is right now in terms of whether or not you're working or whatever everyone's got kind of like their own personal stuff that they're kind of you know struggling with like or they've found difficult through through the quarantine oh guys i'm having my marina out i oh my god so this marina coil i don't even want to really like Say anything too bad about it because there was a point where when I first got it um, 
it was actually doing something for me and I think it's because I hadn't had any relief for like 10 years plus um, with my periods and stuff like that so anything would have made me feel like amazing and I think that's how the um, Mirena made me feel initially it completely reduced the flow it didn't stop them from being painful like I still had painful um, periods but um, yeah lately that thing has it's almost like my body's like okay you know what we gave you your little break now now you need to get this thing out because legitly guys this thing has been um, making like my body just so out of sync with everything you know already like during your period you get hot anyway but mm -mm, this is too much hun like literally i'm not able to wear like the same pajamas twice in a row because <laughs> your girl is i i sweat them out literally i sweat them out now as soon as the period comes the sweating stops but that's besides the point apparently this is a side effect of the morena coil then there's the skin oh my god so the skin is another one i might have a pimple here or a pimple there when it's that time of the month due this is prior but all of a sudden i'm starting to get these huge painful spots that actually are they you can see that they're white heads but they're not ready to burst and they're very painful and they are so i've got um, some scarring i had to honey this scarring this scarring is doing the most so i had to get um if i come in close you can see that i've got quite a bit of scarring like all around here and i've got scarring here and that's just not like me that is not my skin do you know what i mean like so um and i knew it was something hormonal because of the type of spots they are i don't get spots like that i actually spoke to my gp and told him and he was just like okay well you how do you you know what do you want to do and i was like i want it out i want this thing out if this is not a sign that it needs to come out then i don't know what else is you know um i think i'd rather just have the periods at this point and just have everything that comes with it because you know the other side of having this coil means that i'm also very unhappy with the way that it um, is affecting my body and it's a shame you know because it took so long it seemingly took so long for my body to even get used to like to used to it in the first instance so the fact that i'm now like back to square one with this thing but all will be well soon and i had to call in the big guns honey so you know your girl went and researched the best serums to try and get this skin together um, because obviously we got a different situation going on now so I did order um, a different serum I paid um, a little bit more money for a little serum I mean you know what to be honest with you it's what works for your skin it's not about whether it's like cheap or expensive even though some would argue that you know if you spend a little bit more money you'll get a better quality which in some cases I would agree but um in this case it was just really about what is going to be the most effective so i called in the big guns i've got a serum i bought a serum that has got the big boys in it but it's got vitamin c salicylic acid hyaluronic acid niacinamide niacinamide retinol msm i was not playing so literally that stuff's been really good uh, well I've only been using it just for a few days, but I definitely have noticed the difference in the texture of my skin. I will keep you posted because you know everything that I use, I always do a review. I've never had the issue where I've had um, no storage on my phone left and literally I've got no storage. I'm like, girl, who like is using your storage? <laughs> oh, recently I asked some of my 
Well, I asked my Instagram following if they could ask me some questions because I really wanted to do like a little bit of a QA. and a I've really been sitting down and thinking about like different videos I can do for you guys. I'm aware that I haven't done a um, get to know me tag, which I will do. This actually looks quite good, you know. I haven't been, I haven't used this colour in a while. All this foundation, to be honest, is looking kind of good. I did organise my drawers. But I actually did not touch my makeup drawer because there is a lot, there is just a lot going on in the makeup drawer that I'm just not ready to deal with. I'm just really not. I noticed that anytime I think too much about doing a video, I never get the video done or I get major anxiety and don't want to do the video. That's another thing for any of you guys who are embarking on it or if you want to know like certain things about doing your videos. Like a lot of people said to me, I seem natural when I'm doing it and stuff like that. Trust me, trust me, I go through, I go through it as well. Like there's times where I really have to build myself up to do a video um, and I'm not quite sure what that's about but literally what I've learned is that you have to just push push through it it's really not something that you can really entertain because if you entertain the feeling in the moment then you just will not get what you need to get done, done. Normally, I am a Maybelline Colossal Girl. If you know, you know. There is obviously always a technique to applying mascara. If you saw my first Get Ready With Me, I told you about the whole brush, putting it in and out the thing. Never ever do that because you don't want to ruin your brush and you don't want you don't want to like pile on the mascara in clumps. I just wanted to put that in there as a little disclaimer. So I am a Maybelline girl, but just because I'm a Maybelline girl, I am not going to be biased. It's going to make it sticky. Let me just leave it on there. Why did they put this on here? It's made it so... Um... I know you lot are like, get the tan mascara on. Okay, I'm going to get it on right now. Ready? Go. Why is my mouth open? <laughs> I don't know where these lashes are going to come from, but I'm waiting for them. I mean, they're all right. That is actually quite good you know I'm not even gonna lie it looks like I've even got like a wing behind there hello okay shall I do the Maybelline Colossal on this eye so that we can do like a comparison This is the Maybelline Colossal. And so this is the one that I would normally be using, you would normally see me use. This is the difference between the two. If I turn to the side, you can see a little bit the length here. That's actually quite long. And you saw before that I don't have any lashes. So this is the Sky High Mascara. This is the Colossal. Um, I'm trying to help you out, hun, because like people be going on like you're giving sky high, like, yeah, I think they look a little bit more fuller on that side than they do on that side. But to be honest with you, I don't see like a huge difference. I don't see like the difference that I saw with um, when some people tried it. I did notice that this one actually 
takes less lesser time to stretch the lashes out so as soon as i applied it the lashes looked long whereas with the maybelline colossal you have to really like build it build it build it build it to before you get to this point so there are definitely some differences between the two huge differences absolutely not but um they are equally both very good mascaras um this one is i believe 10 pounds for this mascara and i believe this one isn't really far behind either but um yeah in terms of sky high maybe not so much yeah that's it guys you make the decision for yourself if you want to purchase um the sky high maybelline sky high mascara or not or the colossal i like them both um and yeah i'm going to use this until it runs out <laughs> and i'm going to use this till it runs out and if i decide to buy this again then i will generally maybelline um Maybelline mascaras are quite good or I find them to be quite good anyway so I don't feel like there's any love loss there but um, it's not the huge difference that I was actually expecting to happen so that I believe is going to be it for today's video and, um, I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you haven't already turn on those post notifications so that you know when I will be uploading next and subscribe for the ride hit the like button and I'll see you in another video